Hi everybody, I am Barry Basil, and I am here to present Children's FTV for the first time ever. The cars had after the success when uh, the Bears, however, have made their appearance on Saturday Fair just a couple of weeks ago. So I am here for the first time to do it. And now, on Children's FTV right now, it's time for some stories of Thomas the Tiger to the Bread. And off we go to the island of Sodor. And that was Thomas and Friends. Well, they sure had lots of exciting adventures on the island of Sodor. Hmm, mind you, he can be a bit cheeky. And he's got six small wheels, and a short stumpy funnel, and a short stumpy board, and a short stumpy dome. <coughs> oh, Barry, get off! <coughs> Sorry about that, everybody. Force of habit to get too close. Ah, uh, just like my cousin Roy was. Oh, and it's a good thing that Betty Boo was not here to see me doing it. I heard that. Sorry, cuz. Uh, anyway, dear, now, if you're wondering where Maggie is today, well, she's not here at the moment, but she will be here later on. So, coming up right now on Children's FTV, it's time for... Water Bird! Uh, I believe that's Water Bird, uh, sir. Oh yes, what a mess! Well, no joy. A compass team, a kitchen mum, an old fur coat with a bird on top, a moving mess of unpleasantness. Good grief, what a mess! That's Ruffy Oak and Hound, a more foul creature you've never found. The tangled bundle of grisliness. Good grief, what a mess! What a mess! What a mess! What a mess! And that. Was what a mess. Well, he sure is a scruffy African hound. Now, I may be in the nude, but luckily I'm not much of a scruffy African puppy much. More like a scruffy bear. <laughs> Which Barry looks like a scraggy old bear. <laughs> scraggy old bear. Oh! You stupid boy. Fine, alright, I'll stop. God. Now, anyway, viewers, so, ladies and gentlemen, if you see, if you want to see Maggie right now, here she is, it's Martin Simpson. Hey, Daddy. Maggie, well, it's good to see you. Well, did you know that I am presenting Children's of TV today? No. Well, this is my first time doing it, and you're going to help me. Over the cuddles. Oh, hmm, I wonder what she means about. Oh, I get it now. So when she gives me a cuddle, hmm, that suddenly reminds her of the program. So here we go with Orville and Cuddles. Orville the chick and uh, Toddle the monkey, which Betty Boo is the monkey. Right, be quiet, you. Uh, what are you doing with Maggie? Well, it's because she's going to help me. Oh, all right. But here's Orville and Cuddles anyway. Orville is green, Cuddles is mean, Orville and Cuddles! That was Orville and Cuddles. Well, well, I never knew that Orville and Cuddles had a cartoon series as much as the Keith Harris show was. Hmm. Is that right, Maggie? Is it true that you sometimes like Orville and Cuddles? Yeah. Ah, I see. Well, that's what I thought. Well, I got a joke for you. What's that? Um, what do you get when you cross the cloud with a goat? No, no idea. A silly Billy, which a uh, very boob is the silly Billy. <laughs> Ow! That was just a duck, you
Well, I believe she means it's time for Tully Tuppy. Oh, why is it that she gets too close anyway? Anyway, here's Tully Tuppy's anyway. Guess who's back, Missy? Who? Why, it's me, Mr. Wilson the Butler, and I'm back. <laughs> and I'm here to get revenge on her. Um. What are you doing here, mister? Well, I'm getting revenge on you after you attack me. Oh, yeah? We'll soon see about that, Tommy. Tommy? Nobody ever calls me a Tommy. Oh. Oh, oh, me brain. Ouch. Oh, why is it that Maggie did? But why is it that Max? Why is it? Get off of my shot. Aye. <laughs> Anyways, now on Children's FTV, it's time for Sooty and Poo. It's Sooty and Coat, Mr. Oh! Off! Sooty and Cootie! Yeah, I think she means Sooty and Coat. Hey, ho, it's Sooty and Coat. Everybody say hello! Sooty and Co, not Sooty and Cootie. Uh, yeah, that was a good joke, bro. That's not the Sooty and Cootie. Uh, no, it's Sooty and Co. Cootie. Co. Oh, oh, doll. Get out of here, you big donkey. Fine, fine, I'm going. <sighs> Sorry about it, buddy. Oh, that's it. Me. Yeah, I believe she means it's time for I. I get to be talking about here. Time for the Smurfs. Oh, that was great. <laughs> Far, very far from here, some two thousand miles away. That's where they live and work and play. <laughs> now I'm going to be acting like Gaga now. <laughs> now where's that Maggie for Little Smurf? Here I am, Mr. Well, you don't look like a Smurf. You look like an elf. <laughs> elf, 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 elf. And I'm going to grab you. Elf, elf, elf. Barry, help me. Well, at least you mean help me, Barry. Oh, my God. Hi, what are you doing here? I'm kidnapping your girlfriend. You can't stop me. Oh, yeah. oh yes, I can. Thank you for saying that. 
Rockies though. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Sounds like Mr. Bird Berry Boop. Oi, stop it. I can't help blushing, you know. What you can't help blushing because I can't match you in. Uh, yes, he's blushing, mister. Uh, <laughs> Oi! Don't you keep doing low voices. I know you're a baby. Babies don't use low voices. Well, you may not think so, but this one does. Oh, right. All right, fair enough. I thought you said Barry, but you said more poker. Oh, uh, what poker did you, uh, present? Penny Tappy, Jackie Poo, and... Smears. Ah, oh, I see. Oh, well, I think you mean sooty and cut, don't you? Yep. Oh, that's what I thought. So, anyways, viewers, so, coming up next on Children's Earth TV, now, I heard that the Berry family's gone now, but don't you worry, because here's Yogi Bear instead. Yogi Bear! <sighs> Just run the program, will you? Yogi Bear. Oh, and if anyone else asks, it is not Yogi Bear. Yeah, no offense to you, Maggie. That's it, kid. Well, here I go blushing again. Yeah, sorry if I have to cook away. That's what happens when I blush. Won't be a few minutes. Oh, anyway, so we'll be back after the break. Don't go away. Well, Maggie, got your kiss. Yeah, please, Barry. Barry, take Oh, 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 well, see you after the break, everybody. I'll be back. Hi! How on earth did Maggie get to be Terminator? Dom, I suppose you have to be off the screen. Now that I'm wrong, it's my dad. Now that I'm wrong, it's my dad. Alright everybody, and welcome back to Children's Earth TV. Oh, and we had a nice break now. Here are, because I mean, it is understandable that it's on my first day as well. Yeah, thanks to Maggie. Yeah, and I don't know why she keeps giving me kisses for. Oh, I understand now, because I first appeared in the Cousin Specials number two and number one. Yeah, that's when I used to be a little bear back then, but I'm a big bear now, just like my Uncle Andy. Especially Andy, it's a bit of a dumbo. I heard that, Barry. Oh, and I see you're doing so in FTV today. Well, yeah, that's right. Oh, well done. Keep up the good work. Thank you. And now on Children's FTV, it's time for Tales of the Two Fairies. Oh, and I bet Maggie would love that. But Maggie, if you let me go now, there's two of the two fairies now. Woo! That's better. Well, Maggie, are you looking forward to watching that with me? Yeah, yeah, right, yeah, right. Yeah, I think she means two fairies. Well, enjoy the program, everybody. Enjoy! Yeah, 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 yeah. Are the tooth mice? Here's the proof. Every time you lose a tooth, there's a pair of fearless mice who fight through rain and snow. Nice surprise, so go to bed and close your eyes. And that was the Tales of the Tooth Fairies. Wow, I'm so pleased to see the Tooth Fairies. Although they're not actually Tooth Fairies, they're just plain mice. You know, with Giselle and, uh, well, I don't know what the boy's name is. But whatever it is, it sure is a good one, though. Yep, and I agree with anyone who enjoys that in the monkeys. What do you think, Maggie? Yeah, two fairies, cuties. Ah, I'm, I'm glad you liked it, Maggie. Yeah, I'm glad you do. Now, anyway, viewers, and now it's time for Postman Pops. Hmm, I wonder what he's going to be up to today. Yeah, Maggie wants to know. Yep, 
you want to know as well. So here's post with part two. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. And that was Postman Pat. Yeah, well I'm sure glad that he has finished doing his rounds. Yeah, very good, I say. Right, so coming up next on Children's MTV, it's time for Okie Doge and the go kart race. Yeah! Okie Dokie, Spot Julix! <coughs> yeah, I think she means go kart race. Here's Okie Doke, anyways. Okie Doke. <laughs> And that was Okie Doke. Well, I'm sure glad that Martha was the real winner. But as for the two ugly rats, uh, Dave, one of them is called Dave, has actually cheated. Well, they weren't supposed to be going up their house, uh, should it, Maggie? No. No, because that would cost more than a race. Oh, and as for you, children, if you're watching this right now, do not try these ones at home. And don't ever cheat, because it's against the rules. Oh, anyway, so coming up next on Children's MTV, here we go with the last program of the day, and it's Hobby Dog Tales with Rosie the Dog. Me, Puppy Dog. She means Puppy Dog. Yeah, don't worry, Becky, but we could call it Puppy so if you want to. Yeah, very cool. Who is my puppy? Oh, yeah, thank you. Well, here's Puppy Dog. Come on, play with Rosie. Rosie's your best friend. When you're outside, she'll be your guide to what's around the bend. Now, just to let you know that that was Hobby Dog Tales, and that sadly, that's the last program for today. Well, I sure enjoyed my job being as a children's MTV presenter, because after all, I am a special guest. First, it was because of kind of no hair that kindly gave me this job. Right, Striper? Oh, you're very welcome, Barry. Of course. Well, the viewers, well, this is where me and Bat Maggie are bowing out. Just for today, because we and Maggie will probably go out for a walk somewhere, probably in the woods somewhere, because I'm a big bear. Oh, and don't worry, I can carry Maggie along as I go along, because she's very small. I mean, after all, I may be a bear, and Maggie is a baby girl, but she's not scared of me. I'm her fun-loving guy. Yeah, kissy kissy. Yeah, kissy kissy. Ugh, ugh, that's Oi, be quiet, you. You better be quiet or you're sacked. Oh, you can't sack me, you little oaf. Or should I say little elf? Little elf! Oi, leave my boyfriend alone, mister. <laughs> Oi, get off me, get off me. Ha 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 Now that's what I call comedy. Ha 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 Oh yeah, uh, whilst Maggie still carries on licking the nose, here's a bonus program, and here's one of them. And it's another comedy, and it's Forger and Fudge. Sorry if we haven't got a chance to do it. <laughs>
departure, the elevator stopped, and I'm sorry we, that we had to do this, because it's only like a comedy, but that's what uh, we do, like. Yeah, it's okay, but Maggie, the dog just learned his lesson, so you can stop now. Okay, Barry. <laughs> you too? Would you too please get out of children's MTV, please? And Barry, don't worry, you're not sacked, and Maggie's not over. Oh, God. Well, anyways, we are so it's time for me and Maggie to say goodbye. Bye bye, everybody. See you soon. Bye bye. And don't forget, Mr. Bear, who's called no hair, is going to be back tomorrow morning. So, bye, everybody. Bye bye. Come on, then, Maggie. Let's go for a walk as promised. Okay, Barry. Bye bye. Yeah, bye bye. Well, and up they go for a brilliant walk. Hmm. Well, I sure hope that Maggie Zippo's not going to get me in the future. Oh, yes, I will. <laughs> I stole a beast up, also. Oh! You're watching FTV, and just before the Bearsons, here we go with the making of The Simpsons, live and uncut. To start off the chat, here's Matt Grading himself. I'm Bart Simpson. Who the hell are you? Why do people get so riled up by The Simpsons? I don't know, but I love it. It makes me so happy when somebody falls for it. You know, if we can show a cartoon and it makes a good portion of the audience laugh, and it just enrages another part of the audience. I mean, that's the best feeling in the world. But no, it's Homer. Another company made this duff beer and claimed it had nothing to do with the Simpsonian duff beer. They got sued, they're out of business. Real and yummy. <laughs> and we certainly hope you enjoyed that The Simpsons Live and Uncut. And here we go with the Bearsons, and they're all here, right here, right now. <laughs> 